In this half hour with the All-American Cowboy Boots. It's been a symbol of the West, old and new for more than 150 years. The footwear of rough edge ranchers, urban cowboys, and so many more. It is also big business, especially in Texas, home to more boot makers than anywhere else in the world. Brandon Scott went to the western tip of the Lone Star State and found a boot bonanza. El Paso is a city built on boots. Home to three different factories and all sorts of shops, it's no wonder Texans often call it their cowboy boot capital. Tell me about these boots that you've got on. These are some bright turquoise and orange boots. These are my barbecue boots. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue boots, only yeah. in Texas. Yeah. Novena Christie leads the creative team at Rocket Buster, a custom boutique where each elaborate design is meticulously handcrafted. And each pair comes with a Texas-sized price tag of up to $6,800. We call these the chandelier boots. Chandelier see? boots. Sparkly. It can take six months for Christy and her team to turn leather into what she calls wearable art. Anybody's dream can become a reality and it can be put on their boots. What's the limit? Can you go so far that these no longer become cowboy boots? I mean, I'm willing to take it wherever it needs to be. Well, there's so much top room on a boot to stitch designs and colors. And the way people have done that, I think, are like works of art. In her book, Cowboy Boots, the Art and Soul, author Jennifer June showcases the original, unique, and often off-the-wall designs of custom boot makers from all across Texas. There's so much creativity now um, between the, the desires of the customer and the skills of the maker. It's just, it's a, it's a kind of a golden age for that. Indeed, the cowboy boot has come a long way from its humble post-Civil War beginnings. The original designs eventually evolved to include a smooth sole and tall heel to help riders stay in their saddles during the westward expansion. My only pair of shoes are not so neat. But it wasn't until Roy Rogers moseyed onto the big screen that boots finally got some flair. Like tall hats or big trucks, ornate custom boots have become a trademark of the Lone Star State's rich and powerful, especially for politicians. Governor Rick Perry spent his career sporting custom boots, and both Bush presidents proudly wear custom designs. The elder Bush owns 25 pairs. The collar is overlaid, the roses are underlaid and twisted. You turned red and pink leather into roses on this boot. All in. Randy Watson is CEO of Justin Brands, a multi-million dollar boot company that's been in business since the 1800s. Their technique hasn't changed much since then, but their boots have. The thing that, that I tell people is we can make anything. We, we can be as intricate as you'd like. So you can turn these boots into something more than just something you wear on your feet. You can turn a boot into a story. A different story for every pair and for every person who wears them. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Brandon Scott, El Paso, Texas. Now, Miss Nyer, you are from Texas. Where are the boots? You know what? I have a pair, but I will say they never looked like that when I was growing up. Your husband wears them. Though, he right? does. He's from Amarillo. He still wears Red Wings all the time. The thing about boots, though, as you may not know, since you never had I don't, a pair, yeah. please you, educate. When you first get them, they're not that comfortable, and then they start to mold to your feet. So you can't just go out and get a new pair. You really have to invest some time and love and energy. All right. Next week, maybe. I'll try to get you a pair at some point. Good stuff. You come back. All right. Hopefully. Here's a look at the weather now for your weekend.